Okay, let's go hook up some trailers. But first, there's a couple of things you need to know about turntables, or fifth wheels if you're American. There are two major types of turntables. There's a quick release turntable, or fixed turntable, which is the most common, and there is a ball race turntable. Ball races are more commonly seen on cattle trucks, fridge vans, tippers, tankers, but not exclusively. The big difference is, on a fixed turntable, the trailer skid blade sits on top of the turntable, the pin locks in, and the trailer turns on the turntable. Whereas a ball race turntable has a block which bolts with two bolts up behind the kingpin, and when the turntable locks in, the tongues go either side of the block, and that stops the turntable from moving. And then all movement of the turntable is done by the ball race, which is the mounting underneath the turntable. Uh, it gives them better stability, which is why they use it in things like tippers and tankers and stock crates where you want more stability. But the key thing to know is, when you approach a trailer you don't know, always check to see whether it has a block. Now, that goes either way, because depending whether you have a ball race or a quick release turntable, you need to know because if you have a fixed turntable and there is a block present, then you are going to snap the block off. If you have a ball raised turntable and there is no block present, then the turntable will probably twist and turn underneath the trailer, which puts it in a dangerous situation where the trailer can actually roll off the side of the turntable if you're cornering. So either way, you want to make sure you know what gear you've got. You can turn a ball raised turntable into a fixed turntable to use without a block, by putting in a pin or one or two pins, there are slots, the pins go in that actually lock the turntable in place. So if you're using a ball race without a block, you have to lock the turntable so it can't spin. And if you're using a trailer with a block and you have a fixed turntable, then you must remove the block before you hook the trailer up or else you will snap off those bolts and that's no fun for anyone. So how do you go about hooking up a trailer? Well firstly, you back up to the trailer and check your height. Make sure you are not too high or too low for the trailer. This is even more important when hooking up an A trailer to a B trailer because you haven't got the visibility you have. It's not right behind the cab, it's you know 20 feet behind you. Once you've established the heights right, you back the prime mover or A trailer, turntable just underneath the skid plate. So the skid plate can sit on the turntable safely, but do not lock it onto the pin. And the reason I say that, there are several reasons. Firstly, if your heights are spot on and you back up straight to the pin, well, best case scenario, you're going to potentially bend the legs because most people then immediately do a tug test. The legs are still on the ground, so you're dragging your legs forward and back, which is going to bend the legs. If you ever tried winding up a set of legs that's been bent, I'm sure most of us have, it is not a fun experience. Secondly, if you back the turntable under the skid plate without hooking it up, you will alleviate the problem of ever missing the pin. Now, if the trailer is too high, you will immediately see that because you're going to get out and raise the legs slightly off the ground, and that will put the skid plate flat on the turntable. So you cannot miss the pin if you do this method. If you back straight to the pin, you're risking the chance of either missing the pin completely or putting the pin over the turntable and dropping it off the front and then you're in all sorts of trouble. Okay, let's go hook up some trailers. Show you how to do it safely and efficiently.
spare a couple of inches. This way, when you've done your tape test, if the trailer is not connected, it will only fall two inches to the ground, not falling on its nose. visually check that the pin is locked in the jaws and that the skid plate is sitting firmly on the turntable and this is a Holland hitch and that little bolt there is home in place so there you have it that's how you hook up a trailer you approach it cautiously you know your gear when you hook up to it, you back the turntable underneath the skid plate, you get out, you go and wind the legs two inches off the ground. That way you're not going to bend the legs, you're not going to miss the pin. If the trailer does happen to come off, it'll only fall two inches to the ground. You won't have to be winding and winding and winding to get it back up again. Once you've got the legs off the ground, jump back in, back up slowly, hook onto the pin back slowly not fast you'll hear a click shouldn't be a bang and that'll be the jaws shutting home once that happens you can put it in bog cog or first gear and lean on the pin you don't need to drag it down the road tug test doesn't mean yank it off just lean on the pin to make sure it's connected I always hook up with the headlights on we can check the we have lights to start with when you connect your air remember to always turn the collars to stop them coming off. Some people will argue and say they've never done it in their lives and never had a problem. Well, I've had two warm ones come off and they were locked. But if you lock the collars, it reduces the risk of them coming off. So now you've actually hooked it up and done the tug test, you can jump out, you can go and wind the legs the rest of the way up. Grab your torch and check that the jaws are visibly locked behind the pin. The skid plate is sitting firmly on the turntable and the locking mechanism for the turntable has gone home. This one is a Holland hitch, so it has the bolt on the front, which locks back into the front of the turntable. Things like a Jost have a clip on the side. Uh, each brand has their own way of doing it, but make sure that is home. So that way you have, you've done a tug test, you've visually checked, and then when you take off, just very, very slowly, one or two kilometers an hour, apply the handpiece for the trailer brakes, and that will be a secondary tug test and also ensure that you have trailer brakes. And we're away. That's all there is to it.